हेलो गाइस वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजी बराना एंड दिस इज जहाजिब अमीन विद यू वी आर इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ कॉन्फ़िगरिंग सिस्को यूनिफाइड कॉल मैनेजर वर्जन 15 एसयू2 एंड सो फार वी हैव डन नाइन एपिसोड आवर लास्ट एपिसोड वाज रिलेटेड विद द डिजास्टर रिकवरी सिस्टम दैट हाउ यू कैन कॉन्फ़िगर डिजास्टर रिकवरी टू एक्सपोर्ट योर योर कॉन्फ़िगरेशन योर डाटा to your uh, ftp server in case of disaster situation and to now we are in the episode number 10 in the episode number 10 i am going to uh, show you guys that there is one more very advanced feature available in the cisco unified call manager in your disaster or for your uh, backup or something which is uh, related uh, with the configuration of your existing call manager let's discuss a scenario where i have my current call manager which is 12.5 or 14 and you want to upgrade this version to the latest one which is version 15 for some reason the upgrade option is not available the reasons most probably uh, most probably that you don't have uh, resources available on your existing server or there is a space issue so you could not uh, upgrade your existing call manager and the only option for you that you have to install a new uh, version which is 15.2 call manager and then you have to export the backup on your your uh, your new uh, call manager for some reason this is a lengthy process because when you take the backup with the help of disaster recovery and you want to restore you should have uh, the same version for the call manager and same uh, ntp dns this is a prerequisite without this one you could not uh, copy your uh, your backup uh, from the old uh, machine to the new machine so in this scenario there is another option available which is export data this is a very strong feature in the cisco unified call manager and what happen exactly in the export data option that i have version 12.5 and i could not do the upgrade so what i will do i will export my configuration from my call manager and keep it on the network drive and then i will install the new fresh uh, unified call manager latest version which is 15 su2 and i will import the configuration into the latest version of the call manager this is very easy short time and it is uh, like it's uh, taking less time than doing uh, the backup restoration on the new vm with the old version and then you will assign the resources so anyhow you can use export data option from your old version and install your configuration on the latest version so this is our lab for today i will show you that how i will export uh, the configuration and then how i will import the configuration the import configuration i will do on the latest version which is which is 15 su2 and during the installation there will be a option ask that export data when this export data option will come i will enter my sftp detail which is uh, for my backup export my configuration export and i will import into the new call manager so uh, let's start our lab for today and we will continue this uh, our discussion during this uh, uh, configuration series there are four commands which we will apply to export the configuration of my existing version which is 12.5 on the network server where i have installed uh, sftp uh, server as a software to transfer the file so i'm going to share my screen now first i will show you my uh, backup server this is my uh, backup server where i have installed sftp free ftpd and sftp is running and the configuring uh, configuration for uh, sftp is very simple that you will configure just uh, Uh, the backup in the root directory and the service should be running and here you will go in the user and you will create a user which will ask during the uh, export of uh, data and import of data for the authentication okay so you you just click over here just give a username assign password which i have already done and then you will assign uh, the home directory where the data will store okay from here i will do one thing i will just go here and i will select backup this folder i have selected 
to copy the backup and I will apply the configuration. That's it. Simple as that. Okay. So after that, I will come back to my call manager. The first command I will just mention show myself. Okay. This is a very famous command in the Cisco Unified Call Manager. Show myself. Okay. So it will just show uh, the name uh, for my call manager and my account is as an admin and uh, privilege level is 4. This is to just verify that you are authorized, that your credentials are authorized to uh, apply the power commands or the administration command. Okay. The next command for the verification I will mention show tech network host. This command basically uh, show you that how many uh, uh, nodes are there in a cluster. So normally uh, the Cisco call manager and uh, IMP instance messaging and present service this is under one cluster service okay it's our uh, like it's our it's work as a as a combined services the Cisco unity is not part of uh, uh, the call manager and the IMP presence cluster okay so there are four basically uh, VMs running publisher and subscriber for the unified call manager and publisher and subscriber for the IMP okay so the next command I will see which version I am running right now show version active okay so with the help of this command show uh, version active I can get to know that what is my active version which is 12.5.1 this is the exact version number because there are a lot of variation uh, in the in the release so the, this is 12.5.1 the first three words are basically important uh, this does not uh, uh, bother too much but at least you should know what is your version uh, exactly which is 12.5.1 okay now the next command which i will use to export the configuration only only the configuration for my version 12.5.1 to the network drive that is utils system upgrade data export initiate okay like i'm going to initiate uh, the the command uh, the for the data export i'll make it enter now it will ask me let me make this window a little bit like this okay now it asks for the root data export root directory the root directory which i already uh, defined here okay so i will just mention as uh, this one forward slash and remote server name or ip this is the uh, the ip address of my backup server which is where i have configured sftp okay so i'll make it uh, same as it is 10 to 21 city and the remote server login id which i have already created i show you which is cisco i will keep as it is and here i will mention the password this is the password for the user in sftp okay after that it said enter detail of the destination node that will import the current node exported data okay this is the new vm which i will create with the new version which is 15 version okay so i will do one thing i will just keep the same name uh, what i have right now for my existing version the reason uh, once i will uh, export my configuration i will shut down my uh, current version uh, current vm virtual machine 12.5 and then i will start doing on the 15 so i will keep the same name for the new host okay and the ip address i will keep the same ip address because my dns and my other configuration uh, is depend on uh, this ip address okay so i will ju just use the same one and would you like to proceed with the export i will set yes data uh, processing data export now the process is started uh, to export the configuration uh, from my uh, call manager publisher okay there is another command the status is running okay so i will uh, it will take around uh, 10 to 15 minutes or 20 minutes depend on the size of your uh, vm existing vm and the config configuration you have done to check the command uh, there is another command uh, with the status okay 
this will show me the status of my exporting uh, the configuration from this one because here the status is showing running okay so i'll just mention status it said running until it will show completed i will not uh, do anything else so once the status show as completed it's mean my publisher configuration has been exported successfully in my backup server and this is my backup server and the root directory will be uh, i'll show you here uh, this will be my root directory here uh, backup okay right now it is empty but some folder is created i will show you later on how the folder is created here so uh, let this process finish and then we will see uh, the data export and then i will do the same steps for my subscriber okay so then i will do uh, the configuration export for imp instance messaging and presence and after that i will uh, start the installation for version 15 su2 as a new virtual machine uh, as a ova template and then during the option installation it will ask me export data i will show you when when we'll come to that uh, uh, that uh, uh, to that configuration so uh, i will pause for now and we'll wait until it is finished and then we'll do the same thing for the uh, subscriber so guys uh, finally uh, my export data for the publisher has been done and the command if i use for the status it show me that my status is completed now okay it took around 15 minutes for my uh, situation uh, so it's very depend on the size of the database and i will check now what kind of uh, uh, folder has been created with this export option so i'll just go over here and i will go to the uh, drive with the backup which i have created and it created the uh, the folder as cluster okay with my existing ip address and here is uh, the uh, the actual uh, configuration of my existing version which is 12.5 uh, and uh, it make a node as a tar and one as uh, as uh, xml document okay so what i will do now i will run the same setup for my uh, publisher now so i will connect with my publisher uh, so guys i am logging to my uh, subscriber now so i will just do the same command show myself okay so i'm in the second node with the same admin account and privilege level is 4 next command show tech network host and uh, the same i have the information same as my publisher then i will check my version show version active okay the same version i have for my publisher which is 12.5 and uh, the IP address I already checked here. Verify. Oh yeah, same same too. Okay. The next command now I will uh, use to export the configuration for my subscriber, and the command is ut uh, utils. System upgrade data export initiated. Okay. So to ask me to export data directory, I will keep it as it is. Remote server IP address is the same, SFTP. Remote server login ID is the same as Cisco. Password, I will provide here. And it will start the process. Now I ask for the new host name. The new host name, I will keep the same as it is my uh, my existing, which is uh, uh, this one, uh, CUCM2. So I will just paste here because I'll keep the same name. IP address, I will also keep same for my new uh, call manager. And I will say yes. Okay, so the export data is started now. And uh, once this is finished, I have another uh, folder inside uh, cluster with the new IP address in the backup. Okay, with the backup and then I have two, one more. So uh, let it finish. Uh, it will take i believe another 10 15 minutes and i will check here status okay so the status is running now so once is it done we'll make sure that our export data has been done successfully 
from from our uh, existing version and then i will import this configuration to the latest version which is 12.5 su2 so stay tuned and uh, we will continue after the completion of uh, export data uh, so guys uh, finally uh, export of the configuration from subscriber has been done successfully if you see over here i put the command uti utils system upgrade data export and the status is completed so this is my publisher which is completed and this is my subscriber so let's go to the uh, the sftp server and we'll see that uh, data is copied yes if you see in the backup previously it was uh, created a folder as a cluster and it was two file now it is four file so our export of the configuration uh, has been done successfully and uh, now what i will do now i will shut down my existing uh, publisher and subscriber uh, because the ip addresses are same uh, for my old and the new vm which is i'm going to do the installation right now so what i will do now i will just uh, shut it down with the command first i will do the publisher utils system shut down okay and it will say do you really want to shut down i will say yes and it will take around 5 minutes same thing i will do for my subscriber uh, but keep in mind that always shut down uh, whenever you have needed your publisher first and then do the uh, subscriber shutdown i believe it's already uh, initiated so now our uh, publisher is shut down so same thing i will do with the here system shut down yes so uh, guys uh, we have done our episode number 10 uh, so uh, so our export part has been done now now what is uh, we will do in the next episode i will build a new uh, cisco call manager virtual machine with the help of ova template which is version 15 su2 and then during the process of installation for the new version i will enter the export option i will use the export option which is available during the installation process and the same configuration only the configuration part from the old version will be copied to the new version so what is the advantage for using this one i will save my time uh, for exporting or importing the data during the installation and i does not uh, need to have uh, the same upgrades option so it will take less time so let's uh, start in our next episode for the installation of uh, a new version call manager 15 su2 and uh, export our configuration for existing calling call manager uh, so uh, stay tuned and take care allah hafiz we'll see you in the next episode